What does come next on both sides of the House? Well, it looks like there's a couple of differences between the House version of the bill, which advanced out of committee yesterday and will face a House vote on the floor likely next week, if not shortly thereafter before Thanksgiving. The differences between the Senate framework and the Senate Finance Committee Republicans that we got are twofold. First and foremost, they would keep seven tax brackets, David. The White House wanted three. The House version wanted four. The Senate version would keep seven tax brackets and actually raise taxes on that highest income folks, uh, highest income earners. And it would also so, David, uh, delay by one year the implementation of a reduction of the corporate tax rate from 35 percent to 20 percent. Uh, that wouldn't go into effect under the Senate guidelines until 2019. Of course, the House version would keep it uh, for, uh, or immediately rather, uh, and the White House has said that they want it immediately as well. But publicly on our very own Bloomberg television yesterday, Budget Director Mick Mulvaney saying that they do not have a problem with anything that the Senate is proposing. And as you know, David, the Senate is really driving the show here. Well, whether it's the Senate or the House, a big question is what is the consequence of the elections that were held in various states on yeah. Tuesday? We just had Steve Ratner on. Now, Steve is a well-known investor, also a well-known Democrat, but he strongly believed that it makes it less likely we'll get tax reform because individual congressmen, individual senators will be really thinking about getting reelected. What's the sense on Capitol Hill of the consequences of these elections? So a lot of centrist Democrats are, are, would agree with Mr. Ratner's take. And yesterday I interviewed Senator Mark Warner, a Democrat from Virginia, and we all are, are still deciphering the results from earlier this week here in Virginia, that mini blue wave as it's being described. And what, what they're saying is that when you look at what happened in Virginia, for example, uh, that Republicans are going to be facing pressure because of how unpopular, or at least how Democrats are trying to frame this, is that this is a tax plan for the wealthy and for big businesses. Now that that said, Republicans argue that they have to get something done before the midterms. But again, uh, the, the midterms are already casting a shadow over, over Washington, D.C. And of course, the allegations against Roy Moore are uh, still very much uh, the, the hot topic of conversation, to say the least, down in Washington.